Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. I'm here with Gabe. This episode of Mattressology, we are gonna take apart the IntelliBed. So let's go. Okay, so the IntelliBed. This is an excited bed. We did an IntelliBed video a couple years ago, but it was like an old version of IntelliBed. Mm -hmm. And you know, they've done a lot of changes since we've done that video. And this one is actually, I believe, more of a current model. This is the IntelliBed it's the Midnight, and this bed, it's actually a hefty bed. This is one of their one of their heavy duty big boy beds. It is about, it's over $7,000 in a queen size, and I believe it's like $89.99 in a king size. So this is a hefty mattress. Pricey. It is pricey. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is one of their luxury beds, and it's also heavy literally. We just try to yeah. pick it up. This thing is- That's Beast. Yes, yeah. probably good, at least 300, 400 pounds. I mean, this is almost as heavy as me. Uh, after, after Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, well, let's pick it apart. Let's see what's inside this IntelliBed. Now, if you don't know anything about IntelliBed, they have that gel the grid system. They're actually, be, they were before purple, yep. and I think, I believe purple, you know, was spawned from IntelliBed. Very similar technologies. A little bit different overall, but the technology is very similar. Jeez. Remember, when measuring a mattress thickness, you always want to have a straight edge where they, where they meet, where the straight edge and the ruler meet. Can you see that? All right, that is about- 16 inches. 16 inch heavy duty mattress. Let's cut from the top. Top down? Down. Cool. Little Mattressology 101. We call this the panel of the mattress. The panel is the closest thing to your body. It's the quilted part. This will be the border. This is the tape edge right here when you see that. The, and it looks oh, more the like a Euro top, right? I mean, the way it's, the way it's built. Yeah, right? yeah, this is more of a Euro top. And so just open up this panel. See the little gel. So this panel is very simple. You know, you got the stretch knit polyester panel, you know. Um, I don't know if it's blended with anything, but it's your, and then you got the two layers polyfoam right inside with this FR material. This is the quilting part. So it's about inch and a quarter in the quilting. You see how they glued it? Here's the risk of gluing it like this, where sometimes that when you're on transport, I have seen the panels come off mm -hmm. the top. Right, here we I'm go. not a huge fan of gluing it, but sometimes you just have to. I'm a bigger fan of inner tufting it, but if, if you're gonna glue it, you know, I would probably use more glue on the top. You gotta just be careful of it all coming apart. Now, so would you consider a latex bed? No, I would not consider this a latex bed. A lot of people do though. You, oh, we got a like latex mattress. And then here, of latex. What is it? Half an inch? Half an inch. Yeah, half an inch. And half an inch of latex. So yeah, a lot of companies, they do that. They'll say, yeah, this is a latex mattress, but they only have like less than an inch of latex in there. So you gotta be careful when you're looking for a latex mattress. And just because it has latex in it doesn't mean it's a latex mattress. Yeah. And like we say in a lot of our videos that a mattress is only good as the weakest link to it. Like latex is a great material, you know? The mattress will fail at the weakest point. Like if you have the best latex, but if you have like a cheaper foam in there, more likely than not, it's gonna fail at the cheap, at the weakest point. I think it was, a more six, but it looks like it's compressed. I don't yes. know if the camera look. If you look right here, yeah, you can feel that grid. If you notice though, the, yeah, the grid is not in here. You're gonna find more of the grid on the inside. This is like a, a like a, an infused latex mm -hmm. with gel, most likely. Let's cut this open. This mattress, by the way, I saw the law label. It was made in 2020, so this mattress is only just two over years? two years old. Gabe, okay, what do you, what is the story on this mattress? Did you did you talk to this customer? The feel was never quite right, you know. Um, it did feel a little bit firmer, you know, for the customer. Yeah. I mean, as you can see, there, it was never like really breaking down. Um, th there were, you know, some soft spots in it, but it was a little too firm yeah. for the customer. And, uh, you know, mattress is also about the feel too. So it's not only the quality of it, because it doesn't seem like it's a bad quality. It's just, you know, the feel was, uh, wasn't quite right for the customer. And they chalk up their losses and went with the uh, latex hybrid. So here's, you can see inside, so we're, about from the side of the mattress, the edge of the mattress, 12 and a half inches from the border, from the from the edge of the mattress to where that grid is at. So that grid is more in the center. You're not gonna get that grid on the, you know, on the outside edges of the bed. Yeah, and so this is that gel grid that IntelliBed is well known for. And Gabe, how, how, how thick is this gel piece? About two inches. No, an not inch and a half. about an inch and a half of the gel material. This is a very interesting material. You see how they glued it in. This material is good. This material is really good for durability and even pressure relief is good. It is a very different feel. It is a very heavy material, but again, a mattress is only as good as the weakest link on this one. So it has this layer. Look, it looks like we have more. It's right above the other, that like infused latex, it seems like. Yeah. 
And this one's a thicker. This one is about six oh. inches. Gabe, about six this inches is for you. This is well, almost three inches. All right. But so, so what, what, the, what they're doing is they're layering at the latex on top. You know, I, I think it is a better layering system than than what we've seen in like the purple. Yes. Yeah. Because you got the latex above this. Because what we hear a lot is you hear that you people talk about that grid. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, you know with the purple. Whereas this is kind of masking that that feel. Yeah. And then you got another foam layer in between the other grid, right? Yep. So they got it stacked on top of each other. So, so there, this foam layer is going to be just like a, a one inch yeah about a, one, an inch, one inch layer, yeah. so yeah you don't want those two layers to be uh, you know rubbing up against each other that's it there's no uh, underneath it there's not layer that's uh, that endure later pad later pad yeah yeah between you and the uh coils yeah so overall these layers right here they're more meant for a border around it this is a, not actual the comfort layer of it the more the comfort layer is going to be more inside mm -hmm. you said it was about 12 inches in yep about 12 yeah. inches in so you're going about you're not the whole thing is not the gel you know only the center part where you're sleeping on most is going to be the job which i've had some people say that you can change they can feel a little bit of that change mm -hmm. the transition but i do like how they did it better than purple where they have different they have cushioning yeah. between how they do the layers it better a little bit more thought out seems like a little bit to me a little bit better uh, built out. Let's look at these coils. These coils look like they are a leg and a plat coil. If you like that that feel, a lot of people sleep on edges of the beds and it's you're not going to get it. You know, you lose some of that sleep surface. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the coil system here, this is a leg and a plat comfort core, quantum edge coil. You got the smaller coils on the outside for edge support. You know, if you, I don't know if you guys can see that. And then you got the more wider diameter coils for the support and the comfort. But this is going to be your pretty much basic leg and a plat coil. We used to do this back in the day until we switch over to the Texas quad coil. Let's see, Gabe's favorite toy. It's about 16? 16 gauge. Yeah, but, they, but they're so tiny and there's so many of them, they feel firmer. Yeah. But, but overall, um, man, I mean, it, it's a it's a beast of a mattress. Beast of a right. mattress. It is a very unique mattress. Is it nine thousand dollar mattress? Right. If you have the budget, man, would I spend? Would I recommend someone spending nine grand on this mattress? No, I really wouldn't. I know what these materials cost, and I know that you would be lucky if you have more than fifteen hundred dollars in material at the most. Maybe even less than that. You know? Yeah. With this, with the grid, I would say even less than a thousand dollars worth of material. Yeah, not on sure this stuff. The grid you know that grid is what cost but yeah nine thousand dollars that's a lot of money for a mattress like this um especially when you got a lot of polyurethane foam you got latex i like you latex down mm -hmm. here which is cool you know but then just a lot of polyurethane but yeah. it was an neat mattress to open up you know with that with that cool grid yeah and you know with purple and and them with a the telebed doing the similar thing you know for feel wise it, i've tested both of them and yeah I say I think this feels better to me. So yeah, you guys, well, I hope this just was interesting when you guys are looking for a mattress. Remember, less is more. We say that so many times. This was, what did we say this was, Gabe? How many inches? Six inches. About six inches. And then you have the padding on the in the panel. So you're looking at almost seven or eight inches. Yeah. You know, when you're that far above the mattress, you're not getting much of the benefit of this. Mm -hmm. So remember that is an important factor when it comes to support. But when you're that far away from it, you're not getting much of that benefit of the coils, you know? So And then you're losing a lot of sleep surface with that, intel you know, the, the, gel, the gel part, 12 inches on each side. So that's taking 24 inches, right? Yep. Actually, this is the head and the foot. So side is going to be a little bit less. It's going to be eight inches. So you're losing 16 inches, right? Yeah. So eight inches on one side, eight inches on the other. So you're kind of like on a queen side. You're kind of sleeping on a queen side. Yeah. You know? Yeah, true. So yeah, because the queen is 60 inches. If so. you want that Italian bed feel, right? You've yep. got to be sleeping more in the center as a queen. I actually was looking to carry something like this, this um, material years ago, because yeah. it, was, it was open to the industry, mm -hmm. but they said that they only do it in this, you know, a, a smaller, they don't cover the whole mattress. So that really was a turnoff for me. Well, that's one reason why we never started doing it. Yeah, now this is the Intellibed Midnight. Threat level got, Midnight. Yep. If you got um, $9,000 to spend, you know, I wouldn't spend it on here. Okay, so, but yeah. Hope you guys like this mat the, this video and, um, you know, shopping for a mattress. We do have a, a mattress buying guide. You know, click on the link below. You can download it. Um, like, subscribe, share this with a friend. You know a friend that splurged on an Italian bed? Share this video with them. Say, hey, man, check out your bed. Yeah, and also check out our video. We have the, the old Italian bed video that we did a few years ago. And then also check out our Less is More. Mm -hmm. um, that kind of breaks down some of our philosophy when it comes to support. Less is more. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped you guys. Thank you.